Welcome to Nuclear Learning, an online initiative produced by the Simpson Center to foster debate about reducing nuclear dangers in South Asia. Our first open online course, Nuclear South Asia, is available at nuclearlearning.org. In this video, we speak with Robert Einhorn, a former Assistant Secretary of State for Nonproliferation at the U.S. Department of State. We discuss India's 1974 peaceful nuclear explosion and the international community's response. The so-called peaceful uh, nuclear explosion uh, in 1974, uh, India's so-called p and &E, it's like a peaceful nuclear explosion is like a friendly punch in the nose. Uh, and India's test in 74 was really a wake-up call to the international community uh, that it was important uh, to take nonproliferation more seriously. Uh, you had the uh, Nuclear Nonproliferation Treaty, which had only entered into force in 1970, so that was, it was fairly new and undeveloped. It had to be supplemented uh, by a variety of measures that were stimulated by the Indian test. Uh, for example, uh, the Nuclear Suppliers Group uh, was a direct uh, result um, of the Indian test. Uh, India had uh, violated uh, its uh, commitment to use nuclear materials imported only for peaceful purposes. It didn't fulfill that commitment. Uh, so the Nuclear Suppliers Group uh, was going to adopt stronger uh, multilateral export controls and assurances about, uh, about conditions of supply uh, to make sure um, that uh, suppliers would insist on tough conditions uh, and uh, the recipients uh, of nuclear technology would not engage in the kind of activity India uh, had uh, engaged in. And it, in general, it led to, in the United States, uh, it led to legislation, uh, the Nonproliferation uh, Act of 1978, uh, which imposed much tougher conditions on uh, U.S. supplies of nuclear uh, materials uh, abroad. Uh, and in general, I think it uh, sensitized the international community uh, to take uh, nonproliferation much more seriously.